we're going to show you guys now how are we going to build our decks. So I'll put up our deck names here. Boop, boop. Not the cleanest look, but uh, it's a look. It's a look for doing a sealed mm -hmm. game where we're going to have a lot of work to get going here. So sealed's going to take us a little bit longer to get started because we can't just import our deck. So yeah, start tutorial. <laughs> yeah, do if it, anyone dude. wants to clip this section or edit this section out, maybe I will for YouTube. Let me know, guys. But people have been asking. I've seen around the nets and people are trying to help each other out. But this will be a quick tutorial on how to utilize Create Your Deck Mod by Mike TV uh, in the Keyforge community. Thanks to him. Um, and this is it over here. You're looking at the Create Your Deck Mod. When you come in, it looks like this. This is it. This is it. Nothing crazy. Nothing too too wonky. Um, if you're familiar with Tabletop Sim, it's it's a table with cards on it. Uh, the first row is Call of the Archons cards. So this was the original build up here. The second row is all the Age of Ascension cards. So if you're going to be building an Age of Ascension deck, most of those cards will be found here. If and I haven't messed with this too much because I have yet to build an Age of Ascension deck in here, but if I assume if you can't find a card here and it's a carryover from Call of the Archons, it'll be found up here, right? Lyle's already started to build his, so if we run into um, any issues, I believe we'll see. the whole stack has the entire thing. So on if, both? if there are um, if there are carryover, they'll be in that second row. Okay. So so as we're doing this, um, what I'm going to have to do is you're going to have to have your deck list ready. So now here's my deck list off to the, the side here. I'm not going to pay a lot of attention to it. You guys can see it. This is this is the deck I'll be building. Hopefully, right? This is the correct deck, right? I don't want to be building your deck on accident. Yeah. Okay. So this is my deck <laughs> over here. Um, you're going to want to have your, your, your deck list ready. So either in the Keyforge Master Vault or have your, uh, your card, you know, that you just opened or cool pack here, uh, have that ready in front of you, uh, to, to do this. It's going to be pretty simple. You're going to want to download Tabletop Sim. You're going to want to, uh, then once you're in Tabletop Sim, you go through your Steam client to the, uh, the workshop and you look for create your deck. Um, you will download create your deck. It kind of looks like this Keyforge create your deck and you're going to launch it. When you launch it, you'll be here. Um, so then what you're going to do is you're going to take your deck list and you're just going to start going down the line. So my first card in dis is banish. You're going to want to go over to the deck you right click it. You're going to go to search and I don't think you can search by name, right? It's only these no, numbers. No, you can't search by name, but it is in a alphabetical. card number order, I believe. It is. So or, oh, Either five, that three. or alphabetical. No, like I, okay. 055... Uh, is it an alphabetical? I think it is alphabetical, and card numbers. Oh, it okay, yeah, yeah. It's alphabetical, so maybe that's ironic that it goes <laughs> the first few are in number order. Um, so what you're gonna want to do is my first card on my list uh, is gonna be dis, and it's banish. So I will take the card and throw it down here. If for any reason, let's say I had two banishes, you'll see that it pulls it from here. It pulls it out of the the deck list. So if you're like, oh, I have two banishes, which I don't, but I'll say I did. You hold your mouse over the uh, the card. Control, I'm on PC, so it'd be Command C or Control C. Control V allows you to copy the card. Bam, now you have two. What? Crit yeah, knows. What? But I have one. No. So I'll, I'll start my deck right here. So I'll place it down there. There's my first card. Oh my gosh. Woo! Next, we're going to go to Binding Irons. So I'll just kind of look here. There's Binding Irons. Boop, pull it out, throw it on the deck. Um, next, I have... So I'm going to try to keep... <laughs> stop talking so much so Lila can't really <laughs> know what's in the deck. Um, well, it's okay because like I, I still don't know. You're doing I, your I own recognize deck. the names of the of the cards, but I don't know what they do. So yeah, and even if you said them at any point here, uh, if you guys have questions, please ask in chat. We're doing this kind of to help you guys and maybe some questions. Tabletop sim is a little awkward for a lot of people that aren't used to it, um, but we're happy to help you go. And like I said, I'm going to be doing this kind of quick so we can get into the gameplay. I'm just too excited uh, to play here, so I'm just kind of following down. So I know it's exciting stream, exciting stream. This is why I made a uh, yeah. This is why I made a YouTube video for this. <laughs> right. Just making sure I got the right card. Yep. Um, and yeah, this is going to kind of show you guys my deck list, I guess. Uh, I am I just... I just finished mine. I'm just... Wow, you did that that fast. So you guys, once you get used to it... Well, you, so you, you, were, you, were, you were talking, trying to do the, the tutorial while I was working. So, yeah. Um, and so what? I'm just doing a double check right now to make sure that I've got all the correct cards before i save this as an object oh okay this is what i'll remind you guys too when you're when you're searching the deck just like you search any deck you right click and search um people yep. should know they the uh action cards and um i believe action and artifact cards are all on a list at first and then it goes into creatures alphabetically so so right now i was looking for a card that starts with an s and i was like went down to s's at the very bottom down here oh no my card's not here yes your card is here you just have to go up and go, it's probably an action card. I just don't know these cards yet, so I don't know where to look. Okay. Um, so 
you kind of probably need to go back to the beginning bef- if it's an action card or something before like i'm still yeah, looking sometimes you it, just yeah. have to you got to kind of because it, it goes action artifacts why can't i find it i just saw it and if you hold alt uh, as well it'll blow the cards up bigger why can't i find this card oh my gosh this is called watch crit camp get lost p s s p t t okay so it's not there I'm looking for a card called Streak, and I swear I saw it earlier. Ah! Oh, oh, I see. It's up here. There it is. So, oh, the cre- Oh, man, I have no idea. Maybe I was wrong with that, because here's an action creature. Action creature. So maybe it is in a different order now. I remember earlier there was, like, some weird mix-up stuff. But there's Streak. <laughs> and then we've got Yurk. So you're just going to have to dig, it looks like. These aren't organized. I just remember, uh, it looks like a, that's a different card. Okay, so oh, yeah, um, I forgot that oh, I'm out of I'm out of I'm like completely I put this my my houses and description all that stuff. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, when you're done, I'll, I'll show them that too. Sorry, guys, it's taking a while. Yeah, where's where's Yurk, dude? <laughs> Chat's like work. I have I'm finding two different Yurks. There's an ancient Yurk. There's an old Yurk. Is there just a regular Yurk? <laughs> Yo, you, you Yurkin, dude? I guess I can't find it, dude. Where's my regular Yurk? At? Yurkin. Oh, there it is. Hayden. Okay, it. I think this is correct. So copy cool. paste, yerk yerk. So um, mine is done. So as soon as you set up the other server, I'll jump in. I won't. I won't jump in right now. Yeah. Yeah. Just give me a sec here. Um. Yeah. Something we also learned, guys, is in this create your deck mod. If you're with somebody and you have a multiplayer uh, server built, it's only a one player mod. <laughs> yeah. Um. So you can do it. You're just gonna have to copy and paste the cards out. And uh, it, it doesn't allow two people to really operate at the same time. Okay, I have this card. Uh, and then I have two of these. Okay, so that's my disc. So my disc is done, guys. So, is done. so what you can do is like a, a, a check. Is you, If you hold your mouse over, you'll see there's a little 12 there. When you hold your mouse over your deck. Um, that means you should have 12 in every house. If you have 13, that means you messed up. Or if you have less, you forgot one. Um, yeah, exactly. So there you go. I have 12 holding my mouse over. So now I'm on the logos. So you close this window. I will go to the logos pile, which is right here. Search. And then I go and find all these. So one of these. Um, where's... Uh, so I'm just going to have to dig around. There's probably some better order. Oh, maybe they are in card order. They are in court card order, dude. So if I go over to my list over here, I can kind of see. Okay, they are in card order. They put them in card order. So nice. what what number is this? I'm looking for 112. 118, 117, 116, 15, 14, 13, 12. Okay, yes, they are in card number order. I don't know if someone said that. Did you try search at the top? Yeah, Zession. So see the name, see these numbers in the list here, Zession? That's what it'll search. It won't search the actual card name or yeah, the card, card, no, card actual number. Actual card I number. Think, yeah, I said, I said, I, I thought I, I saw somebody in, in the Discord say that they were in card number order. Okay, cool. Well, but, then uh, they're in card number order, guys. There you go. Crit knows. I just wasted a bunch of time. This would have been a lot faster. <laughs> um, okay, I've got two 119s. Lyle knows all the card numbers, by the way. So when I say this out loud, he has a mad advantage. That's what I did. Lyle's uh, just... Uh, rain, rain, rain Man, man style. style yeah. Wow, that's, a, that's an old... Oh, that's an... <laughs> I was like, I couldn't think of a more current reference than Rain Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, when did Rain Man come out? Oh, you know what I started watching on the plane, dude? Because I couldn't decide on anything else to watch. Well, on the way there, I first watched Logan. I watched half of Logan. Did you ever watch oh, Logan? Oh, dude. I, it, it's good. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty... Yeah, I watched half rough, of it. Dude. And then I was like, I've seen enough. I know how this is going to go. Because I'm not a big fan of, like, the X-Men universe. Um, well, I mean, in comparison, it used to be the hotness, right? Until the MCU started. Right, right. Started going yeah, nuts. It was your only option, right? Oh, look at that. Um, 152. 151, 152. Uh, Bill is asking, did you put three 119s in? I did put three 119s in. Hence, I have twelve. But thanks for thanks for checking me. I did put three one one nines in. 
Oh, I, I like how chat's watching. That's a 119. Dude, I got three 119s, one dude. Watch out. That's a 119. I know. Don't you want to know? So that's so that's logo. So I've got 12, 12. I have 12 more Sanctum now to do. Here's Sanctum. So we go search. Um, yeah, if you go back to our earlier streams, guys, uh, there were times when Matt would hop in here and he wouldn't have built any of his decks and I would build them for him. And by the way, you can build decks for people. When you build a deck and you save it as an object, you load it into the mod. Your friend can then go in and right click or and save it as their own object on their own hard drive for their own deck. So it's pretty yeah. six. Yeah, Bill, I am. 119, best card. I'm trying to trigger you right now. I don't know what it is. I try not to pay attention to what it is. Now I'm just going Bill deck says, numbers to keep this even more secret. Now, 119, best card. 213. <laughs> we got Sanctum 213, Lyle. And then we got a 214. Oh my God, 213 into a 214? It's the combo, dude. Combo you remember of the ages. Fr- okay, so here's a Friends me- combo episode. Combo of the age of the Do you ascension. remember the Friends episode where she's like, she's te- uh, Monica's oh, teaching. Oh, I know, I know. Uh, a 227. A 1 2. A 2, 1 2 3. A two three, a three four, a four seven, a four seven, a four Five, seven, four seven, seven, Six, seven, 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 seven. <laughs> um, um. So then I started watching. Uh, I started watching The Matrix, dude. Yeah, from from two thousand. Dude, I started watching the, the Matrix, dude. I was like, this movie's good, man. I haven't watched this movie in a long time, oh. dude. Matrix so good, it never Matrix gets old. Still really good, dude. Um, Matrix, is and awesome. so like, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll watch it every now and then. Speaking of Matrix, though, I have not watched, and I, I am so pumped about John Wick 3, dude. Oh, dude, now I am. Dude, uh, whatever it was called, uh, uh, Parabola? <laughs> John, John Wick 3 Parabola? No. Is that what it's called? Para, uh, paratrooper? No. John Wick 3. I got a double 224. Uh, Parabella. <laughs> Parabolic? <laughs> Parabola. I'm oh, sorry. is that what it's called? Parabola? Yeah, Parabellum. Parabellum? Yeah. What is I, the, I what the heck's a parabellum? I, know. I know per, parabolic. Oh, I have a I have a double two two five. Yo, a two two five. I got a two two five. A two two five. A two two five. Yeah, I can't wait, dude. I I, I love the whole John Wick franchise, man. John Wick Y equals <laughs> x x squared plus two three, three one. x minus four. Two That's three right, one. Dude. John okay. Wick is is is, uh, oh, I'm is missing a complicated a man Crap. that way. I missed one. Okay, so I have to go in here and search and see what I did wrong. Uh, uh, parabellum means uh, before war. It's like the antebellum period of the South. You know what? It's so funny that like... like two one five. We know oh. the term antebellum, right? Oh, I didn't do double and two parabellum, one five. I should have been able to figure that out. Like if I was a spelling bee champ, I would have been like, uh, origin, uh, you know, all that stuff and figured it out. Okay, so I think I fixed it. Uh, oh. No uh, John Wick 3 spoilers, please. Yep, yep, please. No spoilers, guys. No spoilers. Wait, it's out already? Yeah, it's, it's been out. Oh, really? I want to watch that. Okay, so yeah, I did it. I think out. I got it now. So we got 12 here. Let me just confirm I did this right because I missed one. 213, 214. Oh, 215 is now down here. I have double 215s. Okay, and then we went 220, 222. <laughs> Real says spoilers. 224. John McFree was great. Lots of guns. 224, <laughs> 225. He never dies, guys. Double two two fives, two two five, two two five. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out there. Two two six. John Wick series. Two three one. Best. Okay, I'm good. Uh, best gun katas of of uh gun uh, gun fighting choreo in any Oops. in any movie. Okay. So continuing. Don't at me. So to continue the tutorial now, if everyone just fast forwarded through that or whatever, yeah. I mean, I might edit that I'm gonna, down. I'm gonna say it's even better than Equilibrium. So you take all your piles, you hold you. Click and hold to pick up a whole pile of cards. You drop them on top of each other. Now you have 36 cards. Bam, it's done. Okay. So pile them all up on top of each other. Then hit the F key. It'll flip it over. You can shuffle it up now if you want by hitting R. Shuffles Mm -hmm. a a deck of cards. I have 36 cards. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to right click it. um, And you want to go to save object right here. Or you can do what Lyle did first. You can go to the bottom of the screen. Let me go down here and show you guys how I'm doing this. You, you right click and at the bottom, ugh, why is it not giving me space? There we go. At the bottom down here, you'll see it says name. You can t- put in your deck name here if you want, um, which I better not copy and paste your deck name. So you can copy yep. and paste, paste your deck name right here. Boop, Gildersleeve, Ashmore's Baron. And then in description, it's very helpful when you make your decks uh, to just put the archons here. Dis, Logos, Sanctum. And... Blam. Now you have your deck name. If you hold your mouse over it, 36 cards, Gildersleeve, Ashmore's Baron, Dis, Logo, Sanctum. It comes right up when you hold your mouse over it. Oh my God. 
I know, amazing. But the deck is still not saved yet, so don't get ahead of yourselves. Uh, don't be too crazy and think you're like nuts and that you're OP and that you're hacker. So you're going to go here, you right click, you go to save object, which is right here. You save mm. object. I save all my stuff in the root folder. You could make another folder for Keyforge decks or whatever. It'll yep. save it as the deck name that you gave it there. Hit save. Deck has been saved locally. Now, here's the next step. What do I do now? Now you need to go to the Keyforge ultimate mod. We have ours yep. adjusted. So I'm going to go here. Um, you're going to open up and your keyboard. And you need keyboard. to, I think you have to make a server for me. No, it's already up. It's a two-player server. You just come and join the same server. Oh, because when I server browse, it ain't there. What? Okay, so let me back out. I'll just do this from the beginning so you guys can see what's going on. Yeah, you got to save the object before you leave. Exactly. So you're going to go to create multiplayer server. Hold up. I'll make sure I don't give away our thing here. You crazy, crazy hacker folks. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to create the two-player server again. For some reason, okay. it wasn't coming up. Okay, so the server's being created again. Uh, once you load up a new server, go to your mod. It'll be in the workshop under... If you... Dang it. Let me... Okay, so where is it? Keyforge Ultimate. Right here, it'll look like this, guys. Keyforge Ultimate mod when you download it to, to your Steam thing. We have our own saved version. So we're going to load it up with our special table. Lyle's going to hop into the server. Yep. I'm okay, in. so now we're Just in here. Me. Uh, yeah, I need to promote Lyle. So... What you're going to do, once you come in here, you have your object saved. You're going to go up here to the top of the screen, and you're going to see a little button that says Objects. You're going to click Objects, go to Saved Objects, and in here, you should have it. This is the root folder. You should have it in here. You can even see our old decks are still in here. And right here is the Gilder Sleeve, Ashmore's Baron. It'll say when it was made. You just click it, drag it out. Blam! 36 card, Gilder Sleeve, Ashmore's Baron. All the artwork will follow, and that's amazing. It's done. Oh my God. We're playing Key Forge. We're going to play AOA. Uh, we always increase the size for this mod by 10. 1, 2, 3, yep. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, now you've just got your deck. So that kind of ends the tutorial on how do I get my AOA cards into the Key Forge Ultimate mod. Use Create Your Deck, made by Mike TV. Cheers to him. Create your deck like I just showed you there. Search for all the cards. Make your pile of 36. Save it as an object. Name it. Put the put the houses in it. Open up Keyforge Ultimate, which is a different mod. Um, go in. Go to objects. Load that object you just saved. Pop it in. And now you should have all the cards that you'd want. You can even search the deck. You can shuffle the deck. Uh, and you've got everything you could ever want. And that is how you do it. So if you're going to play with your friends, just take some time and then create your deck. It goes really fast once you get it. Save all your decks. And then you can pop them out Lyle, now one little hint is let's say lyle isn't going to make it he could send me his deck list matt will do this he could send me his deck list and yep. say he's not good with tabletop sim like i said you can make someone's deck for them all lyle would have to do is go to the object like i load it in from my side lyle could yep. click it once he's in the server and say save, save object it. and now he saves it locally and now he's got his deck forever so exactly if your friend's not very good technically that way they can have their deck and they don't have to uh now you, your question might be do i have to have the create your deck mod for this to work I don't think you do. I think it no, saves you, all the artwork locally. So yeah, you, once if, you save that object, like yeah. if you if you have a friend builder for you and you save that object locally, you have that as an object saved in your local hard drive. You don't need the mod anymore. Yeah. So so there you go. So if you're better with tabletop sim than your buddy, or they just have the the KeyForge Ultimate mod and that that just blew their mind and they're like, man, I'm already stressed out enough, dude. Can you do it for me? I just want to get on and and play some stuff. I've done that for Matt. I did that for Steve. Um, yeah. I did that for lots of people and just say, Hey, I'll yeah. build the mod. I'll build the map for you or I'll yeah. build the deck. And so we can play and rock. Yeah. And, and so, and so Eric Laz, yeah, the, the reason why we're going through all this rigmarole right now is because the new, with, with this new set of age of ascension coming out, it broke the old builder, uh, the old build deck on this side, yeah, which here, is right this here. Mod, this doesn't work uh, anymore because all the card currently. numbers got sort of switched around. So yeah. basically what happens if, is if you put the URL in there, um, basically, it's going to build a deck using all the the numbers, but it's only calling from Call of the Archon set. So you're going to get a different deck. Yeah. Um, so this is this is just a way around so you can play Age of Ascension right now on tabletop sim. Um, and but the developer is working on um, you know fixing this for AOA as well. Yeah. Uh, that would be Finneman right here. You can see mod by Finneman and his team. Thanks to Tyrant and more than Tom. Uh, so big thanks and to Finneman. Who that, that's correct. That. If you were if you were playing Wingspan, you could load your Keyforge deck into Wingspan. Yeah. Oh, and Forge that's a good question, Bogan. So for people that are still getting used to tabletop sim, like Steve ran into this problem, Bogan. He had a crappy laptop and he was out on the road and wanted to play Call of the Archons with me one night. And I was like, well, you don't have your PC. You know, tabletop sim is a draw. It, it can really hurt. But a lot of it just has to do with what the mods built. So on here, there's a lot of stuff going on. So what we did is we just opened a blank table. 
bug and who um and we could you could save all these pieces from this mod as objects we opened a blank table that was very resource light light on resources we were able to pull our decks in and pull in just random resources and play on a blank table you know we didn't yep. have all the shinies and all that crazy stuff but you can literally just set up your own table make your own mod and and play the way you want to play like we yep. have our own two player mat in here that you can get on inked gaming. You can create tabletop sim is an op, like very open uh, piece of software that wants you to be creative uh, and just play any way you would play like in real life as close to real yep. life as possible. So um, yep. hopefully that was helpful guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And we're going to play some call of the archons now. Whoa! Yeah, I think, I think it's time. I think it's time for us to actually play the keyboard. <sighs> so yeah. Um, Lessons done. So yeah. Th thanks. Thanks. Uh, thanks guys for, for sticking, sticking through.